Hello, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, on the last run, we completed Suicide King. On this run, we are going to play Cat Got Your Tongue. This challenge run is difficult. We begin as Guppy. We have Guppy's tail, Guppy's head, and Guppy's hairball, and that's it. And we can't shoot. We literally have to swing the Guppy's hairball around to hit enemies. We do have flies, though, thanks to Guppy's head, but the question is, are those flies going to be enough to uh, make up for the fact that we can only attack with Guppy's hairball? Well, on that room, we just barely managed to make it out of there even. We have barely enough flies. Guppy's hairball is an interesting item. It's very difficult to use, too. You just kind of have to run back and forth and get some momentum out of it in order to hit an enemy. The good thing about Guppy's hairball, though, is that it counts as an attack. So we do spawn flies whenever we hit an enemy with it. And there is a tinted rock up here. We also looks like we start with three red, three soul, and three shadow hearts, which is pretty nice. Should allow us to absorb a lot of damage early on. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Try to get the head, the uh, Guppy's hairball swinging around. As Guppy's hairball hits enemies, it gets a little bit bigger, which is nice. I think that means it does more damage. And once you get a good swing, you really can uh, can hit pretty wide and far with the yield Guppy's hairball. But it is a little bit difficult to get yourself in a good little uh, swinging momentum here. And every time Monstro here shoots, I kind of have to uh, adjust my momentum a little bit. We're doing some good damage, though. I think that's mostly just, just the flies. And one thing I forgot to look at was how much damage we had. Because if we have a good damage stat, maybe that'll make this uh, a little bit easier because the flies are going to be doing a lot of damage. It, it doesn't look like our damage is too high, though. But it does mean the damage upgrades themselves are going to be a little bit more valuable because they will synergize with the flies, and the flies will do more damage. So I would love to get a speed upgrade, honestly. That would be the perfect item to pick up here. Make ourselves faster, we can swing the hair the hairball further. An HP upgrade, though, is fine too, because hopefully we'll be able to trade that with a deal with the devil, or angel, probably devil, though. Okay. All right, this is going to be a little bit difficult. I took damage stupidly. Or is it very stupid because this is hard and awful? Pride. Pride should be relatively easy. As long as he walks away from me because I need to be able to swing. Come on, walk away. There we go. Swing. There we go. And we got Anarchist Cookbook. That is a bad item. But you know what? I will go use it once on a room. Actually, maybe I'll wait a second. If there's a room with a tinted rock, then I'll use it. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. Ooh, careful. So, what are we looking for on this run in terms of items? Well, it looks like we'll be able to easily get a deal with the devil. So, maybe we'll just look for a deal with that devil item. Hmm. I guess anything that increases our damage would be worthwhile. Two pills. Luck up. Two luck up is actually kind of substantial. Why am I using bombs? I am a fucking idiot. Use the fucking anarchist cookbook. That's what it's there for. Ugh. Anyone who cares is probably yelling at the screen being like, Use anarchist cookbook. That's what it's there for. All right. What do we got? Uh, I'm going to pick up Guppy's head, though, because if I teleport to the I Am Error Room, I will, one, be surprised and, surprised and happy, and two, be shocked and dismayed that we lost Guppy's head. Okay, pretty fly. Bad gas, bad gas. 48-hour energy. Honestly, 48-hour energy is pretty good. Get us some extra flies. Doesn't really do much for us because of Guppy's head, but oh well. And you know what, with one key... Yeah, that was worth it. And with one key now, I will go to the shop and see what item is for sale. 
ladder. Awful. Uh, surprisingly good first floor here. We have 21 cents and three bombs, so we should be able to get any extra tinted rocks that we find. We managed to pick up a little bit of health, even though we got hit once, so we should have a pretty good deal with the devil chance. Now, I am going to actually wait. Why am I going to wait on playing the Blood Bank? I'm going to wait because I want to use the Blood Bank right before we fight the boss. Because I think we will spawn flies as a result of quote unquote getting hit by the Blood Bank. So I would I would like to have as many flies as possible for when we fight the boss. Uh, yeah, this guy. It's hard to hit with Guppy's hair. Hairball. Uh, we definitely need to get ourselves a speed upgrade as soon as we can. You know, heck, if I could get Whore of Babylon, that would be pretty good because I could play the Blood Bank, get down to half a heart, and then get Whore of Babylon, which would give us a speed upgrade. That was bad damage, but I was not expecting him to shoot me, so can't blame me. And, well, I guess you can. I'll use another bomb. Got a kill, which is nice. One less guy we have to worry about. That's bad gassum. Okay. The, the less I have to worry about swinging this damn hairball around to hit anything, the better off I will be. That is for damn sure. Okay. This should be relatively easy. Just a few flies and a few of these pop-up nubs. Okay. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. Yeah, come to me. Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, there's the boss. Another Tinted Rock. We're getting a lot of Tinted Rocks. I'm happy about that. That's for damn sure. And we found... Found a ladder. We found a trap door. This is... This is good. This could be very good. What do we got? Yum Heart. For all that, we just get fucking Yum Heart. Really? I will use it on the Blood Bank, but it's an awful item to have at this point. Uh, you know, I should... I should actually pick it up. Go use it at the blood bank. Get as many flies as possible for our fight with the boss. Yeah, yum heart, really? Ugh. I've seen Dr. Fetus. I don't think we could use it. I've seen triple shot. Maybe that would have increased the damage of our flies. Yum heart. Not exactly what I was expecting to pull from that trapdoor. Black Market would have been fantastic. We could have gotten rid of some of this health if we did not trade it away at the deal with the devil. All right. It doesn't look like we're actually getting flies from this, which is disappointing. Disappointing, excuse me. But we will go to the shop. We'll see what we have there. And I will open this golden chest down here as well. Might as well do it now. We have plenty of keys for the time being. Yeah, this is a little bit of a tricky, tricky run. Relying on Guppy's hairball is not going to last forever. The battery is... Actually, I'll just buy it now. It's a pretty good item. We'll be able to use Guppy's head more strategically, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we come across a room that we don't need to use Guppy's head on, maybe we'll just use Guppy's hairball and save the head for a, a, uh, the next room after that. I don't know. I think it's a good pickup anyways. Now, Guppy's hairball is actually really good against Larry Jr. You just got to hit him a little bit, and it will hit every segment of him. Oh, careful. Still got to be careful, though, of getting so close to him. But we have plenty of health. Fuck. And this is why Guppy's Hairball is not going to last forever. Unless we get a lot of speed upgrades, because Guppy's Hairball sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. But we did get the mark, which should make our flies better. So we'll pick up as much health as possible. We'll go buy the battery. Tears upgrade does not help us at all, unless it synergizes with the... 
with the Guppy's Hairball. I don't think it does, but who knows? Maybe it does. Another Tears upgrade, sure. Why not? Pretty sure it doesn't do anything for us, so why not pick it up? And with one key, I... I'll go open the golden chest. Pick up another key out of it, sure. I guess that was technically a positive. We'll get a little bit more money out of this blood bank. All right. So what, what do we need? What do we need? I think a... See, if that item in the shop was a 9-volt, that would have been so fantastic, because the 9-volt is much, much, much better than the battery, especially in situations like this. It would let Guppy's head recharge in the room, as opposed to having to finish the room to get a, a whole charge out of it. Which is very, very, very helpful. Luck up is nice, but I'm just going to blow up these machines. Not going to play them anymore. I wish that it, it played the sound of you dropping a bomb because I always, always seem to never realize when I place a bomb or not. There's a little bit of a delay when you place a bomb before you can place another one, and that always gets me every time. Like, I think I place a bomb, but I actually didn't, or I don't think I place a bomb, but I actually did because of the delay. I don't know. It just messes me up more frequently than anything else. All right, no tinted rocks in here. And I think that's just going to be it for this floor. Uh, I have a few bombs, but I kind of want to save those for tinted rocks and mushrooms on the next floor. So yeah, we're done. Let's go down to the caves. I would love to pick up mini mush and magic mush from the from the mushrooms on the caves. So hopefully that is something that can be ranged. Well, one tinted rock, a spirit heart. I will not pick that up now. I will save it for later because we are at full health. All right, and back to the uh, back to the guppy games. Ugh. It's very very tricky. Thank Christ we can fly though, because if we were doing this without being able to be guppy, that would be impossible. Not literally, but. Almost impossible, and that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Yeah, be pheromone. That was a good, good use, because we would have had to actually touch them with Guppy's hairball to make them explode. All right, good shop. Map. All right, key. All right. That was a pretty good shop. Our shops, you know, they would have more items in them if we uh, donated more money in our, you know, non-challenge run game. I just wanted to get the challenge runs out of the way. I think if you get the challenge runs done sooner, you have a better shot at actually winning each normal round of Isaac because you have some better items in rotation. You know, Epic Fetus will be able to get that eventually. Things like... Uh, Trickle Charge is a good trinket, but I don't think it actually affects gu uh, the guppy head at all. Trickle Charge, I think, makes it so that your last charge meter does not need to be filled before you can use the item. Like, if you have a six charge item, you only need to visit five rooms for it to, uh, to get charged. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think if you go to the challenge runs and you finish them, you'll have a better chance at beating the normal game because you'll have such better items, like all those awesome runes that do such good effects for you. Now, I feel like our speed might be a little bit higher than normal because I seem to be able to swing Guppy's hairball a little bit faster, but maybe that's just some, uh, some false memory on my part about how fast I was swinging Guppy's hairball before. Please get another deal with the devil. I would love another deal with the devil. Almost got hit there. Oh, uh, got hit there because I got underneath the dark one here. Oh, okay. And hey, speed and damage. That is like the perfect pickup to get there. And Dark Bum is fantastic. I will absolutely take him. Okay, so this run is looking incredibly strong right now. 
minus the fact that we do damage with Guppy's Hairball, I should say. It looks incredibly strong right now. If we can deal with that fact, then we will have an amazing run, I think. Come on. I just want the fly to get him. There we go. With the fly, with him exploded because of the fly, I don't have to worry about him exploding on me anymore. And I will go through with this room. Should be relatively straightforward. Yeah. And we got our key back, so that was just a net profit, technically. And we're getting a lot of spirit heart drops from Bumfriend, which is nice. A little bit unnecessary, but I am not going to complain. And we can look for our secret room, which is right there. And honestly, a battery is okay. Give us some more flies. I will trade a bomb for a battery. Two pills. Puberty and another pretty fly. So we do have a full suite of pretty fly orbitals, which is nice. I'll use a couple more bombs. Black hearts. Yeah, give me more black hearts. I'm very interested in getting some mushroom items. Doesn't look like we'll get one on this floor. Uh, I'm going to take the AAA battery. I think it's... Um, I think it's more worthwhile than anything else. If we get a good space bar item, it'll become extremely worthwhile. I also didn't see what that last pill was because I was looking at the Liberty Cap. Hopefully it was good. Our speed looks our speed feels a lot nicer now. But I think that's just because of the the uh, growth hormones that we just picked up from the boss fight. Guppy's paw? <laughs> I was really excited about that for a moment, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, we're uh, we're already guppy, aren't we? All right, well, it's a good item nonetheless, but it just does not meet our needs really right now. It doesn't do anything for us. And I know I have the battery, but I'm just using the uh, guppy's head anyway. I, I guess I'm just lazy about it. Technically, I guess I could save the guppy's head charges and use them occasionally when we find that find a uh, tough room. Whatever. If we find a better spacebar item, then the battery will uh, really have a much be a much more pronounced effect on this run. Right now, it's almost worthless, unless I just forget to use guppy's head, which I'm probably not going to. But maybe I will. Okay, I would have rather the fly killed the exploding flies. Okay. Hey, Cricket's head damage up. At the very least, that will affect the flies, and it may affect the Guppy's hairball as well. Now, I'm not going to buy anything from the shop. I lie. I'm going to buy the pill, which is 40, 48 hour energy, which is really nice. I will use this right before I fight the boss. Give ourselves the maximum amount of the maximum amount of flies that we could possibly have for the fight. And when there's a lot of rocks in the way, I love it because that means I can get some good swings out of Guppy's hairball. Some free consumables here. And some mushrooms that are probably going to get bombed in a second. Yeah. I would love to be able to pick up some mushroom items. And a double locked door. Interesting. The real question is, do we want to reroll if it's a reroll? I think the answer to that is no. But let's go in anyways. Okay. Three locked chests. Interesting. Unfortunately, we can't really make good use of that because we only have one key left. I'd love to make use of those chests, though. So maybe if we get some additional keys, we can go and have a look and see what's in there. Okay, more red hearts, not exactly keys. Guppy's hairball doing a good job. Okay, now 48 hour energy. Double charge the head. Ch charge the head again. And we're fighting Chubb. 
And yeah, the damage upgrades we've been getting are making the flies do a ton of damage. They basically took out Chud Chub very quickly, and we got another damage upgrade. That is very nice. <laughs> More spirit hearts from uh, from Dark Bum here. That's nice. Okay, so there is no secret room above that room. There could be a secret room above this room, so let's just try it here. And there it is. For three bombs and a tinted rock right here. For a spirit heart, sure. I guess it was technically worthwhile because we picked up a additional bomb there. I will open one of these golden chests. I will not take... I will take Bob's brain. This is actually really good because now we actually have an attack. We have a Bob's brain we can shoot out. That's really good, actually. I'm glad I opened that. Is that worth three keys? Honestly, I think it is. Because we actually have an attack. We have something we can do with our other hand now. I don't... Oh, I should have picked up the black heart. It doesn't really matter. It would have just ex exchanged one of the blue hearts for a black heart. Excuse me. Soul hearts for a shadow heart. But yeah, this could be a very good item, this uh, Bob's head, head here. We actually have an attack. We can just shoot it out. Which means we're not completely screwed. <laughs> we don't have to completely rely on the hairball in order to do all of our damage. That is fantastic. It's going to make things like bosses a lot easier. Unfortunately, it does not look like we have to go beyond the mom's heart fight, for, unfortunately. Maybe fortunately, we don't have to go beyond the mom's foot fight. Excuse me, not heart fight. That was dumb. Uh, if we did, though, then Bob's brain would be even more worthwhile because we would be able to use it, you know, even on the later floors to be able to kind of stay, stay away from the enemies, shoot it out occasionally whenever we have a good shot, and just use Guppy's hairball in all other circumstances. Yeah, Bob's Brain, thank you. You are a good item when you have literally no other capabilities of firing. <laughs> you have found a use. I have found a use for you at least. Let's take out this bomb fly. There we go. It looks like when we use the Guppy's Hairball to hit an enemy, we can only have one hairball fly out, if that makes any sense. Kind of like how infested baby allows you to have a fly out, but you can only have one infested baby fly out. It's kind of like you can only have one guppy's hairball fly out. And once that fly dies, then you can spawn another one, which is honestly fine. Okay, a little bit of dumb damage. I'm going to put a bomb there. There's a tinted rock. And that was dangerous. That's dangerous. Honestly, I'm just waiting for Bob's head. Bob's brain. To get in there and do some damage. Okay. Deal with the devil. A speed upgrade. Oh man, that is so good. And infested baby. Yeah. Infested baby is a no-brainer pickup. It's going to allow us to create more flies. And that is something that I am A-OK -okay with. Now we do have one key, but we're going to save it for the shop. And after the shop, maybe uh, maybe we'll go to the rest of these rooms, look for more keys, because I would love to be able to go to to uh, to the rooms preceding the boss fight and open up all these golden chests. It's gonna blow him up. I guess technically I should have waited for the end of the floor because I may have found a skeleton key. Because a skeleton key makes those demon beggars, or not demon beggars, these uh, key beggars, basically overpowered. Blood bag from one play on the blood bank is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, if you have 99 keys and you play that guy, you're going to get a payout, and you're going to get a whole lot of chests, which is fantastic most of the time. I somehow took damage there stupidly. I'm, I assume it was stupidly. 
two of clubs, I guess, is okay. Everything else is kind of... Uh, you know what? Lovers is okay, because it will allow... Dark Bum to give, give us another Spirit Heart. Another two! Nice! And with one more key, we still haven't gone to the shop, because that, that was not the shop. That was the... That was the... Not a library, even. It was just a special room. We'll buy the key, we'll buy the champion's belt. More damage is something that I am very much interested in. We will visit this last room here. Whenever I have the opportunity, I should actually just attack with the uh, Infested Baby, because it just spawns flies. And the flies do a lot of damage, so let's just let Infested Baby do the work for us now. We don't have to rely on Guppy's Hairball anymore. Blow up a bunch of these skulls. Don't get anything good out of it, really. The world, I guess we'll find the secret room because of that. All right, an extra key, I suppose, is nice. Two of hearts, Emperor. Uh, I guess the Emperor. We're at the maximum health. Infamy, damage reduction, very nice. When we are swinging our hairball around on the more bullet heli type of bosses, even greed, we should have a much less chance of getting hit. Steam cell is good. It's going to make the next. Always come back into a greed room. It's going to make the next shop much more worthwhile. I actually did not mean to uh, open that chest, but whatever. We should hopefully have enough keys to get there on the next floor. Yeah, let's go. I think I need to make a uh, our Binding of Isaac post on the Greed Rooms because it is kind of amusing that they just change when you re-enter them. And I think people need to be... Oop, I accidentally played that, didn't mean to. I think people need to be more aware of that because it can be quite important. Rooms can change quite substantially when you just go in there again. Okay. There we go. Right, right, I need to be attacking with Infested Baby slash Bob's Rotten Head. I, I don't need to use the Guppy's Hairball anymore. I need to not attack when an enemy is near me, though, so I don't hit myself with the uh, Bob's Head, but I do still need, still need to attack using Infested Baby. Infested Baby is really, really good. Like, really, really good. Especially when you have guppy synergies like this and high damage. Infested Baby, I'm not going to say can win you the run, but it can carry you through the womb, most likely. Okay. Getting a lot of battery drops, which is nice. We should be able to get some good... Guppy's head action before the final boss fight with Mom. We'll just keep using the head as we chug along here. We're still looking for the shop. And we do have a key to go to the shop now. I will try to get Guppy's hairball sized up before the end, though. Have it attack some of these dingles that are... Not really going to pose that much of a problem for me. And yeah, thanks to the speed, we're able to swing Guppy's hairball much further and much more easily than we did before. So we can actually legitimately use it as an attack. That was an easy room. Let's get out of there. I'm not going to worry about the uh, rainbow poop. Not worth it worrying about all those spikes when we're probably just going to take damage on them. Okay, where is the shop? It's probably up a lot because we 
That was so dumb. I just completely didn't pay attention to where I was going. I thought we, we had already been to this room. Obviously, that was not the case. And that was just dumb because I let a freaking dingle hit me. Not even a dingle, a dinglet. That was my fault, but it was also a little bit slowed because of the uh, tractor beam in the middle. Pick up some extra health, the pill. Luck up. And let us... Let's just uh, charge Guppy's head with these batteries, and then we'll get the heck out of here. We should have a pretty good fight against Mom's Heart. And that should be the end of this run. Yeah, we'll take pheromones. We know where the boss fight is. We might as well just walk there. Was thinking I might be able to get an extra item out of those skulls. It was not the case. All right, well, you know what? I'm here now. So since I'm here now, I will bomb the rainbow poop. Get full health. And yeah, let's fight mom. We never really had an opportunity to use the uh, the trickle charge trinket, but I think that's okay. Use pheromones. Oh, watch out for the foot. Use Bob's brain, and I will try to swing the hairball around as much as I can. And there we go. That was a pretty okay run. We had some good synergies there. And we unlock the Rune of LGs. And that is Cat Cut Your Tongue. Yeah, Bob's Brain was an amazing pickup. Uh, Infested Baby allowed, allowed us to do a lot more damage with flies and spawn flies in each room. And Guppy's Head just, you know, became our main damage dealer, essentially. All the flies. We didn't really have to use Guppy's hairball after, you know, the caves or so. So that's Cat Cut Your Tongue. The most difficult part about that about that challenge is really just having to swing around Guppy's hairball. It's annoying, but it's uh, it's pretty fun. I like it. It gets annoying though, but it's it's pretty okay. All right, so next time we're going to be playing the Demo Man. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have made it through the end of this video, anyways, uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.